Hello and welcome to a new video about how to build a control element for my heater cooler thing down there. Yeah. Last time made this yeah, so that we can enter some numbers. This worked in the end and I said Ooh, I'm really lacking uh, pins. So I need to, and I want to display something. Yeah? I want to use my LCD display to display some values because just because I'm entering, and I, I, I need some display. Yeah? I need some display, and I found this. Yeah? I found this little device here. This is a interface. Yeah? It's like the good old game, old times. Yeah? So th this has an I squared C interface. This here and this fits exactly. Well, actually, this is just a piece yeah, where the serial communication is then translated into into parallel communication. Yeah, so I can control some in and output pins, with, which is then uh, connected by I squared C bus, yeah, and somebody took. Uh, the chance to use this chip here, which is performing this, to make a special version for LCD displays. Uh, so then there is also, it comes already with a potency meter so that we can adjust the contrast. Yeah, you can turn off or turn, turn on or turn off the, the lightning, the back lightning. There's also a command for this. Yeah, and there is even uh, a library which can be used to use this instead of this LC liquid crystal library. It's called new liquid crystal. Huh? So actually, this would probably save quite an amount of, of, of in and outputs because for I squared C's, I just need two in the outputs. And I will place here my interface somewhere here, my LCD display. Yeah. I will place it here. This one I will put to the other side so that we can see the input panel. Yeah. Because my goal today will be that I am able to display some values there. Then I put in here this... <sighs> I put in here this uh, I squared C adapter, yeah? and then I have connect. I have have to connect this. Well, um, you see there are uh, ground VCC, and then there's SD and SCL. Yeah? So I will use here some cables. Ground. Grab it, put it back. It looks better for me. But not for you, right? And this video is for you. Her. Black will be ground. Red will be all the way around. And then there is white, then there is brown. Okay, so the red one I will connect to plus 5 volts and the, and the other one I will connect to ground. Go in there and the, the I squared C pins on my Arduino are this D4 and uh, A4 and A5. They really have to take care. The SCL line must be A5, I guess. And A4, A4 is the other thing. Uh, is this correct? Let's see here. Yes, should be correct. So. Uh, SCL is connected to A4 and SDA is connected to A A4. 
Good. So this should be the hardware setup. And now I should be able to display here some values by using this new liquid crystal library. This I'm going to try now on the computer. Okay? Follow me. Okay, so it's the program from last time. I will expand yeah, because I simply want to, to do it all in one program so that we can, we can easily check this. Well, I've downloaded the so-called new liquid crystal uh, library yeah? and I'm going to include a part of this library now which is called liquid crystal uh, which is called liquid crystal I2C I squared C yeah? here here we have it right now uh, make it bigger again for us uh, that we can read it better right now it's just displaying hey uh, I don't know this yeah this is something which uh, this uh, micro visual micro does all right so I will now also define here somewhere the the liquid crystal uh, display yeah? and this liquid crystal display must be defined like that uh, book liquid crystal i2c lcd this is the address uh, you can change the address with there are little little things uh, on there uh, so little bridges if every bridge is removed there uh, then it has the address 27 hex the 27 you can change this uh, and here there are there are pin numbers these pin numbers are pin numbers which match the corresponding output pin of this IC there. Yeah. So if we, if we have a look at this IC, there are a lot of output pins and they are mapped to somewhere here. And these here give them a number so that you can say, okay, this is data line 1, this is data line 2 and so on, this is backlight, pa 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 pa. Alright, so these are these numbers there. Yeah. And positive at the end means if the if this is a positive display or negative display. So this means if we should put the background pin to 1 or 0, that it gets in bit. Okay. So this is how you define this. And here, here would be these bridges. See this, these three bridges here? These are the three bridges. If you solder them, yeah, you get different, different addresses. So you can operate at the same I squared C bus different different lcds if there is a need yeah to to drive more than one lcd display you can use this thing again yeah solder somewhere a bridge yeah and have a different different uh, address i square c address and can use it there okay so this that's actually it huh? it uh, now now, thanks to the person who initiated, who wrote this library, yeah, I should be now able to treat this as normal, normal LCD display. Yeah? So in setup, I'm going to write LCD begin. Yeah? Then I will write lcd.print now I will, I will clear this LCD now. Yeah? I will say LCD dot set. You see, I don't like this. I want to have this auto auto completed. Right now, these two things are not known. Uh, I will now just compile this once. Yeah? Ooh, I've pressed download. It will not be able to download because I will have to find the correct cable and plug it in. Let's see what it's doing. Ooh, it's lit. It's lit. Look at that. It's lit. You can <laughs> something. Something is correct. Yeah? At least plus and minus are correct. <laughs> yeah. So I have I have this now. Ah. Uh, 
Uh. Remove this. This is exactly what I mean. I have now already coded something. I don't know the syntax exactly because, okay, now it's it compile clean. It has compiled, and now that the knows it knows the Visual Studio knows now the library. I should be getting this. Here we have it autocomplete. This is what I want to see. Columns. This is a sixteen. Uh, by two, uh, 16 by two display. Then I will call clear. I think this is yes, clear. Yeah, then I will go to set cursor zero zero, uh, column zero, line zero, and I will print something. LCD dot print. Yeah. And I will print Hello there! Hopefully. If I upload this now, I can read it here because then this thing is already working. <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> Righty, hello there. It was written hello there. So actually, if we are not, if we are not doing this, yeah, if we are going to LCD dot uh, set cursor, now in the first line, and we make LCD dot print uh, key. LCD dot print key. And we don't put this out on Good, huh? <laughs> and I just realized I haven't shown you. Huh? What I changed actually was that here in this key I did not make a serial print, I just set to the correct position at the LCD and printed on the LCD. So this is working now as well. All right. All right. So now I can put something out. Now I can also enter something. Hmm, this is already ground. Okay. I have now an LCD. I have an input panel. Maybe I need would need some LEDs, yeah? and then it should work already pretty fine. Yeah? Then I would need to program somehow a menu. Uh, this will do next time. So this time, now we are able to put something out. Now we have a display and now we are ready to program some menu handling. Okay? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.